These are the press. You might want to straighten up a bit. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, thank you for it. That's an excellent question, Todd. We're here at the Million Puppet March. Look at the people. Look at the camaraderie. Look okay, at the sense. Straight. Okay. Hi. Hello. What was the question? I want to know why this is an important day for puppets. Well, look around. We're all here. I mean, we're still a little bit short of a million. I'd say we're, we still need about a million. But some are wondering, just what value does PBS really provide to the American public? And why should we pay for it? Hopefully, today we'll find out. Cut. Nice one, Jim. Oh. Thank you. Am I on TV? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. What does the sign yeah. say? I don't know. I can't read. I gotta watch more Sesame Street. I can't read yet. Yeah. That's brought to you by the number two. <laughs> I learned that from Sesame Street. Two. <laughs> two is an amazingly awesome number. It is. It is. Things are better with two. See, watch. Good. Better. I was telling Eddie here. Yes. This isn't a march. This is a support group. Yes. Very okay. much so. Support, support for what? Us? <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> we, if we're not here, we're at home alone doing this on a webcam. <laughs> to deny puppet rights. They want to keep us from voting and doing all kinds of stuff. Now what are the rights uh, puppets or puppets have? Well, let's see. Hmm. Puppets should have the right to have jobs, and they should have the right to vote, and they should have the right to own property, and we should be able to marry other puppets. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you make these signs? Why is this? Why? Why, did you why is it such a big deal to me? Yeah, yeah. Well, personally, actually, I'm bi, so gay marriage is a big thing for me. Um, but also, just it's such a big part of my childhood, and it just has meant so much in my life that, like, I can't even envision that that's even an option to somebody to take away from our education in that way. I feel acceptance is incredibly important. Um, that's a, that's just something we've preached since we've been around, and um, I also just think. The lessons that kids learn from this are just so important. And why'd you bring an American flag? Because nothing's more American than public broadcasting. We are here because PBS is an amazingly awesome thing, and if it was gone, that would suck. <laughs> and what would happen if they didn't fund public broadcasting? People in rural areas would not have access to public broadcasting, and it's important for even rural kids to have access to educational TV and radio. The only place you can get long-form news is on PBS. The only time that you really get things explained to you that's not in sound bites and that's not oversimplified is when you have time to do it. The market just doesn't attribute enough money to doing these things. We're here to support public television and public radio. It's a very small part of the federal budget and it affects and helps so many people throughout the country. How? I'm a psychologist, I work with Are children, yeah. so often I use PBS and the puppets and whatnot to be able to help kids to really? say the things that they want to say that they could tell a puppet that they wouldn't be able to tell an adult. And that helps them later to be able to tell adults. Plus, no matter where they go in the country, PBS will be there. So if they have to go to shelters or move away for other reasons, PBS is always going to be there and their friends are there. It helps a lot. What do we want? Rookies! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Rookies! <laughs> when do we want it? Now! Here, George is a black Muppet. He was made for me uh, when I was a little girl because there were no black Muppets. And PBS is so important to people. There are so many people who cannot afford to go to the arts. Public broadcasting um, is a service to society. Um, particularly shows like Sesame Street that revolutionized early childhood education. Um, every study that's ever been done shows that early childhood education and intervention programs are the number one thing that helps not just all children but society. And I think funding it is important. Oh, this, this is Leonard. This is uh, Mars. It's uh -huh. nice to meet you. Yeah. And we, uh, I don't know, they're important to us. You know, they're, they're just, you know, something else to relate to. They're the fifth medium of storytelling. 
The fifth so, medium, what are the first? Uh, acting, dancing, uh, playing instruments, uh, singing, and puppeteering. I didn't ever have a problem with saying I could turn on PBS and let them watch whatever they wanted to watch. That's the only station I can think of off the top of my head that's safe to just turn on and leave. And that's the case. You know, you can't do that with Nickelodeon. You can't do it with um, Cartoon Network, God forbid. <laughs> do a wonderful thing where they do almost all of their shows in Spanish and we're a bilingual household so it's very easy to watch PBS because we can watch every show in Spanish as well as English and that's really important to us. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. PBS! 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 Yeah! PBS! Yay! I was an only child um, when I was little and I didn't have anyone to play with so I would watch him and listen to him and see how you know to be nice and to help people out. Now you could have watched other channels or there was nothing No else? we didn't have cable that was the only show that there was on, you, well with like the other shows that were on there. Soap yeah but they weren't kid friendly or appropriate for a four-year-old to watch. We've turned the medium into a modern-day coliseum. It's like we're the Romans and we're watching people beat each other, only instead of using lions, we're using reality television. Tell me what do you think of some of the more commercialized children's networks? I think what I don't like about them, I guess, is that there's awful lot. I think the body image issues there, where the boy characters have to be big and strong and the girl characters have to be busty and beautiful and shorter and I just I don't care for the commercialized part of it PBS is real and their stuff is real they're not swearing they're not sexting they're just real kids with manners well I strongly believe that you know the reason we have public television is because there's plenty of airwaves that can be commercialized and there's nothing wrong with that but if we have a, a, a forum for people and media that is a part of our country as a whole, then we have opportunity for whatever perspective that you have. And that's an important freedom to protect. What do you think? What do you think of that? Um, I think that Mitt Romney should um, leave the puppets and PBS. Wow. Why? Because some kids like it and they might be bored all day and they might be just, they won't be able to watch anything. Not anything? No. There's nothing else you want to watch? No. 